Hi, my name is Adam and I work for HP. Today I'm going to show you the unboxing, setup, and installation of the HP OfficeJet Pro 8710 printer. The first thing we're going to do is open the box. Inside the box you'll find the installation CD for both Windows and Mac. If in the future you misplace this disk, you can download the software and drivers at 123.hp.com forward slash ojpro8710. The next CD in the box is the Read Iris Pro installation disk. Read Iris Pro is optical character recognition software. This software will convert written text into documents that can be edited on your computer. The next item is the setup flyer, which is the basic setup instructions for your printer, similar to what we are showing in this video. Next is the HP ink cartridge caution flyer. Here we have the HP instant ink card for this printer. HP offers a subscription service for replacement ink. If you subscribe, your printer will order ink automatically for you based on the subscription plan that you choose. The last document in the box is the user guide for your printer. This provides information on setting up additional features for your printer, such as fax and web services. Next, we have the power cord. The two-wire phone cord for setting up your printer's fax connection. Then we have the setup cartridges. Setup cartridges are used to initialize the printer and calibrate ink levels. These are the 952 black, cyan, yellow, and magenta ink cartridges. Remove the cardboard and set it aside for recycling. All HP packaged materials are capable of being recycled. For more information about recycling with HP, go to hp.com forward slash recycle. Now we can remove the printer from the box. The best way to do this is set the box on its side, making sure the bottom of the printer faces down. Pull out the styrofoam end cap. Then use the clear plastic bag to slide the printer out of the box. Set the box aside for recycling. Remove the printer from the bag. Next, we will remove all the visible blue tape from around the printer. Don't forget to remove the two pieces of tape on the rear of the printer. Remove the clear cellophane from the HP logo. Then remove the remaining tape that holds down the scanner lid. Remove the small piece of blue tape and cellophane covering the printer control panel. Then remove the last two pieces of tape from the input and output trays. Remove any protective plastic around the smooth black areas of the printer. Open the scanner lid and remove the foam sheet. Then close the scanner lid. Go to the front and slide out the input tray. Remove the two pieces of blue tape and the cardboard restraint. Slide in the input tray. Now let's connect the power cord. Go to the back of the printer. 
Remove the twist tie from the power cord and plug it into the rear of the printer. Plug the other end of the power cord into a power source. HP recommends using a wall outlet, but for the purpose of this video we are using a power strip. Press the power button to turn on the printer. The printer will begin initializing and make some noise. From the printer control panel, you will have to choose your language. Select your language and then touch yes to confirm. Then select your country or region and touch confirm. Set the date and touch continue. Then set the time and touch continue. Touch continue setup. From the printer setup environment screen, you can touch self-managed or IT managed. IT managed is for advanced configuration, typically by an IT department. For most users, you'll touch self-managed. Touch continue. Now we are going to install the cartridges that came with the printer. Open the ink cartridge access door, then grab the bundled cartridges. Remove the cartridges from the packaging. When setting up your printer, make sure you only use the setup cartridges that came with your printer. Starting with the 952 Magenta, insert it into the corresponding slot in the printhead. You'll have to push it until you feel it snap into place. These cartridges are keyed, so they will only go into their corresponding slot. Next, install the yellow. Then the cyan. And lastly, the black. The black cartridge is noticeably larger as it gets used more often. Close the ink cartridge access door. The printer will check the cartridges and then prompt you to load paper. Slide out the paper input tray and align a stack of plain white paper and load it into the tray. Adjust the paper length and width guides, and then slide in the input tray. Touch OK on the instant ink prompt, and then touch Continue to initialize the printer. During the initialization, the printer will align the printhead and print out a page. This screen tells you the website to visit to set up the software for your printer, which we'll show in a minute. Once the alignment page prints, you can remove it and recycle the page. At this point, we can set up the software on your computer. Go to your computer and open the web browser of your choice. For this video, we are using Internet Explorer, but the steps would be similar for Firefox, Chrome, Safari, etc. Go to 123.hp.com forward slash setup. Click the download button to begin downloading the software for your printer. If prompted in Internet Explorer, click the run button. Once downloaded, the installer will extract and then open. If prompted by the user account control in Windows, click Yes. The HP Easy Start utility opens. HP Easy Start will connect your printer to the network, activate and register your printer, and install the latest drivers and software. Click Continue. Click the checkbox to agree to the terms and then click Continue. HP Easy Start will detect your printer. To automatically connect your printer to the same wireless network your computer is connected to, make sure Enable HP Auto Wireless Connect is checked, and then click Continue. The installer will connect to the printer and apply the wireless settings from your computer to your printer. Click the checkbox to agree to the terms, and then click Continue. Here you can set up a free trial for Instant Ink. If you want to start your trial, click Yes, Activate. In this video, we are going to click No, Do Not Activate. Click No Thanks. At this point, you can activate and register your printer. Again, for this video, we are going to skip without activating. 
Select how you will primarily use your printer and put in your postal code. Click continue. Now the installer will check HP's servers for the latest software and drivers for your printer. HP recommends using the full software and drivers to get the most out of your printer. Click continue to start downloading the software. Once downloaded, the printer software installation will extract and then open. Click continue. From this screen, you can customize your software selections. As you can see, it will install the Iris OCR software automatically, so you don't have to use the disk that came with your printer. Click Next. Read through the installation agreements and settings. Click the checkbox to agree to the terms, and then click Next. All the software and drivers will now install. For the purpose of this video, we sped up this process. Since we set up the printer wirelessly using the HP Easy Start utility, click the Wireless option, and then click Next. The installer detects printers on the network and lists them here. Select your printer name from the list and then click Next. The Fax Setup Wizard will guide you to set up your fax line if you're using one. If you are going to set up your printer for faxing, make sure you use the two-wire phone cord that came with your printer. Just follow the prompts to complete fax setup. In this video, we are clicking skip. Click how you will use your printer and enter your postal code one more time. Click next to finish setting up the software for your printer. Back on the printer control panel, touch OK, and you can remove the web services information sheet. You can use this sheet if you want to set up e-printing or add your printer to HP Connected. After the software is finished installing, you'll be prompted to activate and register your printer again if you have not already done so. I'm going to click Skip without activating. And that completes the software setup for your printer. Click Finish. HP Connected will open automatically. This is where you can set up your printer for e-printing as well as manage other web services. This has been the unboxing, setup, and installation of the HP OfficeJet Pro 8710 printer. You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash hp printer support.